Hi, everybody. My name is Scott Perry. I'm the head of neurosciences at Cook Children's in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, and I have been asked today to cover for you some of the comorbidities of Dravet syndrome um, that uh, we see and that were um, discussed in the 2022 international consensus uh, on Dravet syndrome. So I'm going to cover uh, a couple uh, different areas that we commonly see uh, beyond just the seizures in Dravet syndrome. Uh, the first, of course, being uh, gait. Um, there are abnormalities in the way that uh, people with Dravé syndrome walk that we see over time. Uh, the most common thing we see is a crouched gait, or what we talk about as a triple flexion, where you see flexion at the hips, knees, and ankles in a crouched stance, uh, and then an ataxic uh, gait. That's seen in approximately 50% of uh, people between the ages of 6 and 11, and becomes uh, more prominent. Uh, within the majority of uh, teens and adults. Uh, also, um, as people with Dravet syndrome get older, we may see some uh, Parkinsonian features. Um, when I say that, I'm talking about things like bradykinesia or very slow movement, uh, rigidity. Um, they uh, start to take on uh, a gait that is more uh, stooped and stiff uh, and may have some uh, postural instability. Uh, as far as therapy, uh, there's limited consensus on uh, what was the most effective therapy for gait. Uh, there is probably some moderate benefit to physical and occupational therapy. Uh, and some medicines such as Cinemet have been used by some uh, with uh, uh, modest efficacy uh, based on a consensus statement. Uh, the next comorbidity to discuss would be sleep, which is very common in people uh, with Dravet syndrome. Uh, the overwhelming majority will report some difficulty uh, with sleep, uh, and that can um, go anywhere from trouble falling asleep to trouble maintaining asleep with frequent nocturnal awakenings and then excessive daytime sleepiness. Uh, it's recommended that we discuss sleep at each appointment uh, for a person with Dravet syndrome uh, to inquire about problems. And if there's any um, history suggestive of a sleep disorder, then a sleep study uh, can be recommended. Now, therapy for sleep is um, uh, not ideal. Uh, many people use melatonin. Some people use clonidine with modest efficacy, uh, but those are certainly ones that can be considered. Uh, speech delays are common. It's one of the first delays we often see in Dravet syndrome, and we do recommend uh, routine referral for speech assessment and speech therapy, uh, which uh, consensus uh, states is modestly beneficial uh, in people with Dravet syndrome. Uh, next, behavior. Uh, it is very common to see uh, problems with attention and concentration. Uh, in fact, most school age um, children with Dravet syndrome would have these uh, difficulties. And uh, we know that treatment with stimulants can be effective, uh, and most importantly, it's safe. So there's sometimes a concern that use of stimulants uh, in epilepsy uh, might provoke or uh, provoke seizures or lower the seizure threshold. Uh, but in fact, we do believe stimulants are quite safe and should be used. Um, depression and anxiety, um, those kinds of symptoms may become more prevalent uh, as people age into teen uh, and adulthood. Um, there um, is uh, some report also of aggressive behavior, impulsivity, uh, which may occur, uh, though from the consensus statement, uh, the overall frequency uh, of that uh, was, was unclear. And finally, autonomic dysfunction. So autonomic uh, system uh, in our body is, is that which manages things like heart rate and blood pressure and temperature and things of that nature. Uh, and you know, we do probably see some amount of autonomic dysfunction within Dravet syndrome. Um, the consensus statement um, agreed that routine cardiac testing was not required for people with Dravet syndrome. Uh, and unfortunately, we don't have a consistently reliable therapy for dysautonomia uh, at this time. Um, and so that concludes some of the um, major uh, associated comorbidities of Dravet syndrome uh, that were covered in the 2022 consensus statement. Thank you.